Well, good morning. Today we're in Esther chapter 2, verse 29 through chapter 3, verse 15, talking about taking a stand for the Lord. So, enjoy our puppet skit. See you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly in Esther, chapter 2 through chapter 3. We read about how Mordecai, who had taken care of Esther, had revealed a plot by the king's servants. Ooh, they wanted to kill the king. Mm, oh no, so God used Mordecai to save the king. I bet the uh, he was given a promotion. Nope, but Mordecai took a stand and did what was right. Still, some bad stuff was going on in the kingdom. Oh, what I must know. Reveal the mystery, O oh, wise Platypus. Well, Haman, who served the king, was promoted and wanted everyone to bow to him. But Mordecai would not bow since he was an Israelite and he would only worship the one true God. Well, that is not so bad. Just wait. It gets worse. Haman was mad at Mordecai and went to the king to make a law against all Jewish people that there would be a set day that all the Jewish people could be killed. Oh, that is horrible. Yes, it was. But Mordecai had to take a stand for God and to do what was right. So I was pondering, what was it like when Haman saw Mordecai? Huh? Let's check it. And now it's time for Biblical Reenactments with Polly's Pals. Ah, I am Haman. Hear me roar. You must bow down. I shall not be ignored. Bow to me. No. Ah, what? Don't you know who I am? Yep, I know who you are. Well, I'm a really big deal here, so like you have to bow to me. I serve the living God and I will not bow to you. What? How dare you? Oh, 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 you hurt my wee feelings. I'm gonna go tell the king. Wah! No way and no how. I will never bow. Nope, 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 nope. And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh yes, we should always be willing to take a stand for Jesus. No matter what. If you are willing to take a stand for Jesus, oh, you gonna... Be blessed. Guaranteed. I'm so happy that I could take a stand for God by always putting him first. It makes me want to burst forth with tornado powers. Wow, things got pretty dusty. <laughs> Oops, excuse me, Jesus loves you, goodbye and bye and see you later. So we see kind of three things here. First of all, we see Mordecai. This is Esther's cousin who raises Esther. We remember that. And Mordecai does this great thing. He reveals this plot that uh, these guys are going to come and are trying to kill the king. He does that. Nobody says anything. No reward. Not yet. And then we see... Haman. Haman's like kind of the king's right-hand man, and uh, Haman's kind of getting promoted, and uh, ooh, he's got power. But when he goes out and Mordecai is there, Mordecai does not bow. Mordecai does not pay him homage. No. Mordecai takes a stand. Because as a Jew, as a believer in the one true God, he is not going to bow. Oh, let me just bow down to you. No, he's not. He takes a stand again. But then through all this, as Haman's getting mad because Mordecai won't bow down, Mordecai doesn't tremble before him. Ooh, what happens? Haman gets this law made that the, the, these people, these Jewish people, they're in our land. Oh, he goes to king, the king, and says, let's make a decree that we can destroy them and that we can kill them. Oh, ooh, what's going to happen? Still, Mordecai has made a stand for what was right. Mordecai took care of the king. Mordecai would not bow to this man, Haman. And God is going to do a work. Even though at this point, if we just stopped reading, we'd be like, what's going on? 
God is in control. We talked about that last week. And when we take a stand, even when we stand up for our belief, even when we are firm in what we believe and things don't go the way we think they were, well, they should, the Lord still has a plan and a purpose beyond what we can see. What do we do? We trust in Him. We don't trust in ourselves. We don't trust in the circumstances. We trust in the Lord. So with that, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. God, that as we read these chapters, we are again reminded of your power in the midst of situations that we don't understand. Lord, in our own lives, go before us and remind us that you are in control. Please remind us, Lord, that our trust needs to be in you, not in anybody else. And we lift these things and pray them in your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless you.